How real is too real? That's a question we all have in our mind for a game which is about to release next year. We have much to talk about. So we're gonna divide this video in three parts. How real it should be, how real is too real, realism should not lead to boring gameplay. So before we go to the first point, I want to shout out Games for Life for this clip. So how real it should be? Well, GTA game have a history of being one of the most detailed games ever. Like remember the GTA 4 car physics? In GTA 5, we can die and respawn to the hospital and we can still have the scars we have. But like in RDR 2, our characters should gain weight and lose weight, depends on how we play it. And it should affect the main story like they should comment on your physique and the haircutting thing. Of all, it should not look like GTA 5, magic hair back and more like Red Dead 2 where you can grow, grow beard up to level 7. And of course it's GTA so the car physics should be real realistic and the damage should be more realistic and the police should be more involved in the free roam part. Just like in Watch Dogs, NPC can actually call 911 and call the cops on you if they hear gunshots. The NPC should not look alike. I get it, it takes a lot of development, but it, should, but it should be better. It's GTA 6 guys, we can expect more from GTA 6. And like GTA 5, Franklin has a pet shop, but we can have more pets. So I would love if they add a pet shop where you can adopt dogs and cats and train them. And if we come to Animal Topic, I know it's a GTA game, but dude, I would love to see that we can ride horses in this game to that would be so fun imagine the gta 6 editing movies on youtube like they have for gta 5 and it would be a tribute to red dead redemption series more reacting npcs of course i know they are cooking that too but let's come to the social media part because it's new but don't tell me you don't have the idea after they purchased 5m the gta 5 roleplay servers we can actually use their Twitter, Facebook, and now we will have full-fledged social media on GTA 6. And it's going to be a major part in the game. So WhatsApp kind of app, and the Twitter, and the Instagram, and TikTok, and much more. I would love to see a video call feature, and the calling friends would be not that hard like in other GTA games, where they can just tell you, I'm busy, call me back. I think they will give you reasons, or maybe agree with you to come to visit rather than ignoring let's come to the shooting mechanic so like in rdr2 we are not able to carry rocket launcher in our pocket like in other gta games we will probably carry guns like max pain 3 and like in rdr2 anyways so the police mechanic would be much better in the game as if we know from the leaks the police won't randomly shoot you or run over npc just to catch you they will care about the public property and they will care about NPC and most importantly they will care about their partner. If you shoot their partner they will call for backup rather than just shooting you like in GTA 5. They will have much more senses. So there are the things that I would love to see in the games but more things like the cars. The car should not sound like GTA 5 or GTA 4. It, it may sound like Forza Horizon. And the guns, the grenades, the recoil, the sniper stability, and which special powers our GTA characters are going to have. And if we need a bigger SMG or assault rifle, we can store it in the car's trunk. Like in RDR, we can have bigger guns at our horses. Now for the characters part, Jason and Lucia are going to be in a relationship, which leads to a lot of things. Like in GTA 5, we can call you know what at the streets at night. But in GTA 6, I think there will be a loyalty bar rather than have an honor bar like in RDR. Like if we do you know what thing, our loyalty will decrease which leads to the ending in the game. And trust me guys, they will give you a chance to cheat in the game. And you know, how uh, you have to decide what are you gonna do. Cause it's going to be a little romantic, so there will be drama. I don't know about you, but I ain't cheating on Lucia or Jason. And what's Jason and Lucia's combat? It's gonna be different because they're totally different in size and weight. The hair mechanics like we have the first female character. So she will have long hair and her dress would actually be different than Jason's. 
running style, walking style and more things. So these are the things I would love to see in the game and I even want to see more. I am not able to imagine that at the moment but I want to know about what you guys think and what you guys want to see in the comments. Tell me in the comments and what you guys want to see in GTA 6. Tell me in the comments and now let's move on to how real is too real. Now things I said previously was uh, what I want to see in GTA 6 and it's pretty realistic. Now in this topic I want to talk about how it should not be too real. Now hear me out. I know that some people just want it to be live simulator game but guys it's a video game and people play it because it's make them escape reality and that's a fact and it's nothing like the sims gta always leads to a better story line kind of game but now i don't want to see the cctv too much realism like in if my car was spotted police will just arrest me mission failed or imagine you have to follow red light every time or to hard or hard shooting because shooting is hard in real life but again it's a video game and Looting everyone's body like in Red Dead 2 or literally picking up ammo rather than just touching it and it will make you bore after some times. The main reason GTA 4 didn't do that well because it's way too hard. Hard to drive, hard to shoot and story was dark which every gangster story should be but GTA 5 changed that. Shooting very easy, driving was easy. And it's fun because it's easy and that's why the replayability of GTA 5 is so high. No matter how many times you play it or finish it, you will start the story more again after a week. And that's what makes GTA 5 so special because it's fun. And that's what I am hoping for GTA 6 because I'm a guy who played like 200-300 story mode games and some are awesome some are good and most of the times the missions and most of the times some mission is fun but after some times it feels like a burden and completing the game is becoming our first priority rather than enjoying it because sometimes it's too real and once you end it you don't want to play it because even if the story was pretty good you don't want to play again and that's not a what I want from GTA 6 and it should be engaging and realistic but it should be more engaging so the fun would be awesome and the replayability of GTA 6 would be so high that even though I finish the game I want to play it again and again and again because GTA 6 is gonna be game changing it's gonna be game changing and GTA 7 is not coming to the next 10 years so i want to play gta 6 for like three four years just pump on the game play it again story mode play this way play that way you have choices multiple things and engaging stroll lines that's what people have played people are still playing gta 5 because it's fun driving is easy shooting is easy so the story mode was awesome and everything was just grand and makes you feel like fun you escape reality and you're just having fun and that's what i want from gta 6 so I think that GTA 6 should learn from GTA 5 that even though it was not that realistic, it was fun. And if you tell me that you want to play GTA 5 right now, I would actually, even though I don't have time because of my college, college sucks. But GTA 6 should be like GTA 5 at the replayability. I have seen no other game. I have seen better games than GTA 5. But if you want to ch let me choose which game you want to play when you're free and you want to have fun, I would say GTA 5 every time and that's what I want from GTA 6 fun replayability and enjoyment that's what video games are for and it should not be a real life simulator where you have high graphics and you're doing what you want to do it should not be like that so now let's move on to realism should not lead to boring gameplay so this is just the expanded version of the previous topic and boring of how boring games can be 
So I wanna tell you that there are so many games that they have out there which have such a good, great story line but gameplay falls sometimes and some games which are so fun like the Call of Duty games Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 just so fun that you wanna play it again and again and that's make it more fun. So again, not making this video so long so GTA 6 should be fun and I have said this like so many times the better example would be uh, like the recent God of War games so in the recent God of War games they have this God level story and the gameplay is also amazing and yeah it gets boring sometimes when you kill normal en enemies for a long time but the boss fights it's so engaging like fighting Thor or uh, Odin was so engaging and added cinematics in the game that you want to play it again and again. GTSX should be more smooth. And now, what do I mean by smooth? So, have you remember the Assassin's Creed Unity game? Yes, the Assassin's Creed Unity game. Have you remember the combat? Have you remember the fighting style? Have you remember the parkour? Now, I'm not saying that it should be an Assassin's Creed game, but how smooth it was that you can just snap the enemy and just sit on the chair the next time and nobody would know that or fighting mechanics just like shooting and fighting and should it should be like a John Wick movie so the smoothness would be one hell of a thing and just uh, before ending this video I want GTA 6 to be adding more DLCs because GTA 5 have no DLCs in the single player games and I don't want them to be focusing on the online like in GTA 5 they did GTA 4 has one of the best DLCs ever and by DLC I mean DLC not like mm, Mafia DLCs those Mafia 2 DLCs those were too bad I want actual DLCs where you can play as different characters you can actually get the story and the story will affect the main story so that kind of DLC would be fun and I want them to focus on that so yeah here were my thoughts and I want to know about what do you think tell me in the comments and subscribe we're so close to 400 subscribers thank you so much for the support and like this video thank you see you in the next video